Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you a tool you could use to fix your Microsoft Outlook email files. So if they get corrupt and you can't open them, you could definitely use this tool to help you out. So it's called Stellar Repair for Outlook. So we've checked out some of their other software such as their uh, Repair for Excel and Database Repair. And they also have an OST to PST conversion app that you could use if you need to convert your uh, email data file. All right, so how it works. So first we're going to try and open this PST file that is actually corrupt. So if we go into Outlook here, and go to File, Open and Export, Open Outlook Data File. It's telling us that it is not an Outlook data file. That's because it's corrupt and we can't open it. All right, so let's close Outlook. So let's open up Stellar Repair for Outlook. And let's go over the interface real quick. So when you first open it, it's going to ask you to list the configured profiles. So you can have it show your profiles or choose them manually. So in the next screen, it'll show you your profile path in case this is the file you're trying to fix here, or you could choose a mailbox manually, but we're gonna skip this for now until we go over the interface, but this is one way to open your uh, corrupt Outlook file. All right, so we have the home tab where we could select an Outlook data file. I'm gonna bring up the same window there. And then once you repair it, you could save it and look for messages. And then you could also save your scan info if you want to reuse it again later. All right, then we have the view tab here, which is pretty basic. You could view your log report if you want to do that. Uh, if you want to check out the update wizard tool, then if you want to look at your calendar. And then we have the activation screen here. So that way, once you buy the software, you could activate it right here, put in your key, and we get to go. Then we have the help. If you want to look up help topics, check out the knowledge base, contact support, submit a ticket, and then find out about the program, such as what version you're running, what version of Windows you're running, and so on. And then there's the buy now option if you want to go to the website and actually purchase a copy. All right, so let's go back to the home tab here. So we're going to select our Outlook data file. So we'll click on choose mailbox manually since we're looking to open a file that is not our default data file because this one works. All right, so let's browse to it. So there it is. Okay, so now we'll just click on the repair button. So this process should only take a couple of minutes here. You can see it actually shows you the emails as it's repairing it. All right, selected file has been repaired. Then we need to click on save repaired file to save the repaired PST. And so you can see here we have our folders in our inbox here. So a lot of emails there, calendar items, one contact and a few tasks. All right, so now that we have the data file repaired, we need to save it. So we'll click on Save Repaired File. Pick your format. So since this is already a PST, we're gonna stick with PST. Okay, browse to the location here. We'll put it back on the desktop. And there's a couple options here. Recover deleted items, if you wanna save your deleted items as well and auto split the PST file. Then you can click on this little information icon to get more details. Just like that. All right, so we'll click on okay. So now we're saving the repaired data file. Okay, so we successfully saved our repaired file and shows you the size. And for the name, it'll take the name of the original file then put repaired after it. So I click okay. All right, so let's close out of here. So here is the original. Here's the repaired file. So let's open up Outlook again. All right, let's go to 
file, open and export, open data file, click on desktop, here's our repaired file. And now you can see we have it here. Inbox, we have some folders here, feeds, all kinds of stuff. And then of course, if you're doing it this way where you're opening a different data file besides your default data file, when you're done with it, you know, you could always uh, close it and take it out of Outlook once you're done, uh, maybe, you know, copying emails over or printing what you need to print or forwarding what you need to forward and that type of thing. And then of course, too, it'll work with your default data file too. So if we go back to the program here and select data file, then we could select the one that we actually have here. But like I said before, this one is actually working, so there's no need to repair it. Okay, so as you can see, it does a really good job. It's super easy to use, nice, easy, simple interface, and nothing too complicated, and it gets the job done. All right, so as for pricing for Stellar Repair for Outlook, they have different levels. So I'll put a link in the description for their website. Uh, you could check out the pricing structure and then download a copy of the program for yourself and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.